Amajita coach Tabo Sanong says it requires his players to apply what they have been taught in the training if they are. Well, to register a victory against Mozambique Sunday, the two countries will go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the second leg of the CAF Under-20 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier this at the Morelang Stadium in the Northwest Province. The two nations played to a one or draw last weekend in Beira City. Amajita have a good foundation following that result. An away goal was always going to be important for the South Africans. However, they need to put an improved performance in front of the home supporters if they are to get a result. Mozambique proved to be a tough side. A solid defense will be key for Amajita. Their opponents are quick and skillful and a lapse in concentration will be costly. In terms of their influence of Portuguese football, pace, uh, strength in one v1 actions, very direct football, high tempo. And uh, yeah, for us, it's uh, always an opportunity as Amajita to develop players playing against the best sides in the continent, playing against the best team so that they can have a good chance to develop and to become better uh, footballers in future. The team played together for the first time last week. Sinong says they've gone through the adaptation phase and he is confident that they can compete physically for 90 minutes on Sunday. In the past 10 days, we've been in three different cities, Rustenburg, uh, Johannesburg and Beira. And uh, yeah, you can see that uh, having spent five days here in this province, in this city, you can clearly see that uh, our boys have adapted. They are not experiencing any jet lag. Uh, they don't have any challenges. The winner will meet the victors between Malawi and Angola in the next round of qualifiers scheduled for July. Le Bantube, SBC News, Muruleng near Rustenburg.